Good morning, Earth signs. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm Gemini Moon. Woo woo. It's your girl, your chosen tarot reader, also known as Spiritual Black. Finally coming to you too with my scary ass. What messages do you have for your other signs? I felt like I was finally. Not nah, say finally, but I guess not afraid anymore. You know? It's four o'clock where I'm at right now. I've been going through this awakening, so I have not been able to sleep like I want to sleep. And it's crazy because I know it's an awakening because your girl can like go to sleep at like four o'clock in the morning and wake up at like fucking eight o'clock with a burst of energy. Like, hey, where are you going? Where's the weed? You know, I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> Messages you have for your air signs. Aquarius, Libra, Geminis. What messages do you have for your air signs? Aquarius, Libras, and Geminis. There you go. And mental sculpture. Like I said, new to the gang gang. You feel me? And your girl ain't afraid no more. She drop her content. I don't know. And then on top of that, I just don't feel so nervous to be on YouTube compared to being on, on Facebook. You know, everybody was telling me, try to get on Facebook. Try to get on there and, you know, um, do free readings. And I'm like, no, no, no. You know, that's how y'all started. You know, I want to do something different. I want to do something different. I'm a Capricorn, by the way. Gemini Moon. What messages do you have for your Earth signs? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Thank you, Spirit, for all the love and light. Thank you for the guidance. Thank you for the joyfulness. Thank you for the enlightenment. Messages for your Earth signs. What messages do you have for me? My turn. My cards don't get stuck. For your earth signs, spirit. What messages do you have for your earth signs? Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Messages you have for your water signs. Oh, I said water. Messages for you, <laughs> your earth signs. The girl is sleepy. For real. Didn't tell me so. So, the overall message for your reading, Air Signs, is the universe. So, two plus one is three. Okay. So, what I get from the psychic turd that is when some cards are come out as reverse, it usually means I guess I guess it's the same for turd, right? I guess. Um they came out in the upright and when it comes to my channel, I'm gonna give you perspectives what when it comes to the the Oracle deck on my perspectives. I'm going to give you what I feel like because what I've learned in the book, I had to go out and, you know, read more, but I also wanted to write my own perspective about it. So what I get from the universe card is usually it's telling me that um, the universe is either trying to give you something, tell you something. And I guess it's more as like who you pray to. Because everybody doesn't pray to the universe, right? Let me put my candle out. Um, 
Yeah, everybody doesn't pray to the universe, but I'm starting to tell you, you better start praying because the universe here sees and everything. Uh, manifestations and everything comes from the universe. You know, what we think and what we put out. I mean, what we think is what we put out there, right? So, you have the solitude in reverse. The solitude and the upright to me is going within. And I saw what I what I was going to say about the Oracle deck. It's messages what you need to be doing. You know what I'm saying? So it, it was in the reverse. So I'm I, what I'm getting from it is it's time for you to go within. It's time for you to to uh, go so soul searching, um, dig a little deeper. I love The Princess and the Frog, honey. There's so many messages in that movie. And maybe me just saying it out loud. Somebody need to watch that movie. Because I love The Princess and the Frog. And I'm 26 years old. I will watch that movie by myself with my daughter, by myself. Whoever want to watch it. Um, but yeah, it's spirit, it may, the universe, God, your angels, ancestors, the divine. Whoever you pray to is telling you it's time to do a little more soul searching within yourself or a certain situation that you're interested in you know what i'm saying maybe a certain someone you know what i'm saying you never know it's only you and what spirit knows right uh the next card you have is the discontent and the boredom card once again this is air energy i'm talking about right so y'all are easily bored if certain things isn't going your way i guess you want to say and y'all always in y'all fucking head so this could be with certain ideals you know what i'm saying I, it's, that's what i'm picking up for earth signs certain ideals uh the way of like how life is going you know what i'm saying like maybe uh routines you know what i'm saying you're getting tired of routines uh you're getting tired of certain people you know People's boring, the routine's boring. That's what I'm picking up from this. And even the thoughts, you know, like who's to say, like say you are, you've been a tarot reader for like 30 some years. Well, it's getting boring. You feel me? Like you ready to do something else with yourself. You feel me? Oh, uh, discontent and boredom, like a certain situation, a certain someone. Then you have the love begins and the reversal. So, I'm going to pull this as two scenarios as far as like love begins. It could be love begin um, since it was in the reversal for yourself or for somebody or in a relationship or I mean saying you in a relationship. That's my two scenarios. You by yourself or saying that you're in a relationship, right? So the love begins in the upright if you're by yourself, being and you're pulling love, affection, you're learning to love yourself. You see that hand is being pulled into one river. You know what I'm saying? Uh, loving, love begins when you're in a relationship. It could be you just meeting somebody. Um, it could mean that you haven't been talking to a certain someone for a long time. And uh, now y'all able to get right on the right path. Okay, fuck all of that. But it was in the reverse. Okay, so love isn't beginning. And uh, the same scenarios, like when it comes to loving yourself, you're not loving yourself enough, maybe, you know what I'm saying? And maybe when it comes to being in a relationship, there's not enough, there's not enough love in the relationship because it's not beginning. You've been messing with that person. So love's not, love's not flourishing in the relationship. You feel me? Like love's not in, in love isn't entering or isn't there. You feel me? Or back to loving yourself. You're not pulling that cup into you. And uh, that saying is you can't pull from an empty cup. You know what I'm saying? You cannot expect your fruits of labor or your roots to grow if you're giving everybody else water to their roots. Feel me? So, and that was in the reverse. So, um, the last card that I got for y'all is mental conflict so what the fuck did i say earth signs aquarius gemini and libras 
Y'all always in your fucking heads. And I'm a Gemini moon, so I'm always thinking. Always, 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 always thinking about something. Trying to put uh, two and two together. And I don't just talk about people. I'm talking about scenarios, like from point A to point B. You know what I'm saying? And maybe y'all going through mental conflict about a certain situation or a certain someone um, needing to get out of it. You know what I'm saying? Because mental conflict is not where you where where you wanna uh, where you wanna be at. I'm sorry, I really couldn't get it out, but I look at it as what's this? That's number two. That's crazy. Two plus one is three. So the universe, mental conflict, like. I just know mental conflict is a mug, and I know I be having it sometimes. So this is something that y'all could be experiencing right now, and that's why y'all are needing to go within, um, figure out why a certain situation is boring, a certain situation or someone is boring, why you are disconnected to it, why you not, you know, watering your own roots. If it is about, you know, it's mental conflict about yourself or about a certain situation, only in, you and spirit knows. So I hope that resonates with you. And once again, um, this is your girl, Spiritually Black, a.k.a. your chosen turret reader. Um, yeah. And maybe the universe is telling you all of this, you know what I'm saying? Letting you know that you need to go in solitude about either yourself or a certain situation because if you don't you'll come out with mental conflict or you're already going through mental conflict and it's time for you to go in and that's what the universe is telling you so i hope this resonates with y'all y'all always in y'all heads but i understand i'm there y'all have a good night